What else we have here? Well, look at this. Pastor accused of 1.3 million crypto scheme. It says we took God at his word. Let's see what this is about. A Colorado pastor accused of pocketing $1.3 million in a crypto scheme says the Lord told us to. <laughs> Let's see what this goofball has to say, right? Oh, goodness. You know, sometimes you're in the middle of it and you find a gold story. You know, this one's gold. A Colorado-based pastor for an online church accused of pocketing $1.3 million through a cryptocurrency fraud told followers in a video statement that the Lord told him to do it. Eli Regalado and his wife marketed their cryptocurrency, Index Coin, to Christian communities in Denver saying God told him people would become wealthy if they invested. The Colorado of Division of Security said in a statement on Thursday, Index, which is INDX coin, if you guys want to pick some up, make sure you get a, like a nice supply of INDX coin. You know, you're going to put it in there with your Bitcoin, right? BB Poo Poo. Make sure you get that too. Wolf of Crypto. I was the first person to, you know, rug pull. January 1st, 2021, I put out the movie The Wolf of Crypto. Go watch it. It's hilarious. Anyway, um, the Regalados could not be reached for a comment in a video statement to their followers last week. Eli Regalado said the charges that they had pocketed $1.3 million are true. This freaking scumbag, right? But God told me to do it. Out of the 1.3 million, half a million went to the IRS and a few hundred thousand went to a home remodel. The Lord told us to do, he said in a video. The Lord wanted him to reno. You need that coffee machine, Eli. Let's put the mele in the wall, the one that has direct water input. Yeah, you're making espressos. The Lord needs you to drink espresso. All right. <laughs> Eli, Eli, let me talk to you real quick. I just got a message from the Lord. He's telling me you need a indoor swimming pool. We're thinking a gym, like multi-million dollar gym, right? You get a trainer as well. And Michael Phelps, he's going to come out and teach you how to swim. Because yeah, I know you're like, you swim with two left arms. You're going, nah. you don't want to go in one direction, buddy. Okay, you want to do, you're doing circles. We want you to go straight. So we're bringing Michael Phelps in. <laughs> That's just what we need to do, Eli. So, anyway, uh, the couple also allegedly spent their investors' funds on a Range Rover. Again, God told them they need to travel in style. Luxury handbags, jewelry, and au pair. Guys, you know, he's there. He's doing the index coin. He's also pastoring. He's up there. He's telling people, guys, give me more money. We're going to put the hat out for a second contribution today, guys. My wife needs a handbag. You know, God told us, God told us handbags are a plenty for you, Regalado. When Regalado was doing it and his wife was just taking advantage of the Regalado fortune, God was giving, giving, giving. The couple was charged with violating anti-fraud provisions under the Colorado Securities Act. The Colorado Securities Commissioner, Tung Chan, <laughs> Joanne, you hear that name? That's almost as silly as your wheeze. <laughs> Joanne! You know? She, she drops a toot. You know, Joanne, I'd appreciate it if while I'm doing the news, you keep the wheeze to a minimum. You know? All right, back to the story, Joe, and you get me sidetracked, sidetracked. I'm in, I'm in the process of reading about Regalado here. Guys, YouTube, if you want to see Regalado and all of his Regalado-ness, he's, he's doing it. We allege that Mr. Regalado took advantage. This is Tung Chan speaking, guys. When you're doing the news story and Tung Chan comes out to give us his insight, using his own tongue. Uh, okay, so Tung Chan said he, she, oh, it was a she. I didn't know Tung Chan was a she. She filed a civil fraud charge and was approached by the people who invested and lost money through Index Coin. We allege that Mr. Regalado, Regalado, Joanne, wheeze down. Please, thank you. Uh, Mr. Regalado took advantage of the trust and faith of his own Christian community and that he peddled outlandish promises of wealth to them when he sold them essentially worthless cryptocurrencies. Sounds very similar to the Wolf of Crypto. 
You know, I stole a ton of money as Peter Bishop. You know, it was a good year for Peter Bishop. Of course, I then shifted all of that money into BB Poo Poo for Shark Tank. If you didn't see my Shark Tank episode, it's definitely worth a watch. Illiquid and practically worthless. Regalado claimed that God told him investors would become wealthy if they put money into index coin, promoting it as a low risk, high profit investment pegged to the average value of a top 100 cryptocurrency. The securities division said in reality, index coin was illiquid and practically worthless. The securities division said in a release, the cryptocurrency was available only in kingdom wealth exchange which the Regalados shut down. Of course they did, because God told them to. It can no longer be sold anywhere, except in heaven, apparently. They're really doling out the Regalados, you know, cryptocurrency index coin up there. We took God at his word. <laughs> this guy again, blasphemy. You know, can we just strike him down? Heavenly Lord, what are we talking about here? We took God at his word, he said. Regalado said this. And we sold cryptocurrency with no clear exit and no clear clue what the friggin' heck it was worth. You said it was worth top top 100. This thing was illiquid, they said. It means like never had any value at all. Regalado in his video address Friday said, what we're believing for still is that God is going to do a miracle and he's going to give us a new cryptocurrency to pitch to you guys. It's called Windex Coin. This one, if you put a win in front... And we're all going to make money on this one. God told me so. God said this one. You got it wrong the first time, Regalado. But this time, this time with Windex coin, you know, everybody's winning. We're going to have, that's the, the, you know, you have to have a motto for your crypto exchange. You know, and Windex coin, everybody wins with Windex coin by God. You know, God took the by men and, and stole it. By God, you know, Regalado still tried to go back to it. by men. And, no, you can't, Regalado. God's involved now. All right. You said he brought us the new cryptocurrency, Windex. I'm sorry. No, I know there's a product called Windex, <laughs> but they're on board. Actually, they're the major stock and, uh, you know, share owner of Windex Corporation, which is now cryptocurrency. And when you have a zit, you spray on your face. Anybody remember that movie? Oh, goodness. In the comments on Regalado's videos, dozens of people continue to reassure him that God will turn the situation around for the Regalados. You know, the Range Rover. Maybe they can drive to the gates of St. Peter. You know, St. Peter, look. You know God told me to get this Range Rover here, you know. What's that? No, I know he wanted me to get the red one, but I, you know, I decided to go with the gray. You know, like, look, he told me he wanted the Range Rover. Why can't I select the color that I want for my Range? I got like God choose the color. It's I'm driving it. You know, he's just like there on the throne. You know, so the Regalado, he shows up, Saint Peter, the gates, right? Ah, uh, okay, so this gets even better, guys. Faith-based marketing. Regalado was four, uh, was 22 and serving a prison sentence for boosting cars when his faith called him to become a pastor 20 years ago, he said in a YouTube live podcast. Guys, started my life in prison. I used to boost cars, you know? And I was there, and I was like, I think a better game is to steal people's money as a pastor, and then I'll say God told me to do it. You know, Regalado. <sighs> Guys, he did it. And they're now supporting him, apparently. Let's see how this goes. He began preaching for the online-only Victorious Grace Church, where he and his wife are listed as the only two employees. Interesting. Regalado, who had no cryptocurrency or exchange background, said divine inspiration called him to launch Index Coin. And don't forget Windex Coin. That's coming out 2024. And Kingdom Wealth Exchange. Uh, <laughs> it was last October 2021 when the Lord brought the cryptocurrency to me. Kicked down like the Ten Commandments from the sky. <laughs> Regalado. 
I got something for you. I want you to introduce a cryptocurrency to your church. You know, everybody's going to get rich. All right. Well, you're, you're going to get rich. Everybody else is going to lose everything. But look, I'm God. I'm, I want you to be the one. You're the one. Everybody else should suffer. <laughs> like you, Regalado. Because you were such a good human being. When you were boosting cars. Good guy. I want to go to that church. <laughs> anyway, what do we got over here? Guys, I'm, I, I know. I'm sorry I'm a goofball. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know I'm a goofball. But good. Guys, this guy is really interesting. All right. Regalado also told investors that he would tithe. And so, in causes helping widows and orphans, but the funds primarily went into their own pockets. Guys, God told them, no, to put them in your... Don't do the tithing. After he got the money, God gave him a whole new message. You know? God was like, look, I know I told you to sow your royal oats. You know, Hakeem, coming to America style, and to tithe. But, you know, I got a new one for you, okay? I think you should throw it all in your pocket. Remember that indoor pool? That was another idea that I had. God, giving you a new one today. Guys, every day God gave a new message to the Regalados. First it was tithe and sow. Then it was, maybe you should put a football pitch in your backyard. I know you like to play soccer. America, we call it soccer. You call it football in England. I know you like that. Why don't you just kind of hire the excavators and do it with all that money that just came in? You know, Because that's God's will. All right? They specifically went out to the Christian community. And there's a lot of references to scripture and faith. He cloaks himself in that that get people to give their money to him, said Tung Chan. Uh, that's really heartbreaking for people who trusted him. But guys, the message came directly from God. And Regalado has got a direct connection <laughs> because he's an amazing human being. Boosting cars. He put him up on you know the top of the list. Like, God can't wait to connect with Regalado. Wait, you just boosted some cars? Come on now, Regalado. Let's have a conversation. I, I go, I'm only going to talk to you. I won't talk to anybody else on Earth. Just you, Regalado. How'd, the, how'd you do in that, you know, that gig you went out on? Did you get that 65 Camaro? You know that was the top of the list. You know, if you didn't get that one, you're not much of a car booster. I'm just saying, that's God's, you know, overview. Like, I, I'm a little bit... I expect you to be a good car booster. Like, you're you're good at stealing cars if you're going to go out and do it. I mean, I didn't make you to be a bad thief. <laughs> anyway. Eli Regalado, his wife, and his three companies are charged with securities fraud, unlicensed broker-dealer activity, selling unregistered securities, and imposition of constructive trust. They are scheduled to appear in Denver District Court next week, according to the court docket. Tung Chan urges others who have invested in Index Coin to contact the Colorado Division of Securities. And maybe send a little note to God as well. Like, God, what did you tell this guy? Why did you give him that information to then steal my money with Index Coin? And FYI, what are your thoughts on Windex Coin? I hear it's coming out soon. You can send those. A couple notes. God will answer. Oh, goodness. You know, guys, sometimes when you're in the middle of it, and Eli Regalado decides to steal 1.3 mil from everybody. <laughs> uh, and his wife, she had the handbags. Yeah. He had the Range Rover in gray. Like, and that was kind of a slap in the face to God. God wanted the red one. That's kind of a slap in the face of the devil that God wanted the red one. But Eli, he went with the gray one. But God told him to do it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Who knew I'd have such a gold news story to start with here today? What else do we have here, guys? I like doing this. Pastor Q's at 1.3. We got it. Thank you for watching, and please hit the like and the bell on the way out. Join us at either 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, or both. We're here to affect a positive change one person at a time. This is Mark Inspires.